Hey, my good friends, Sam Haymart with Test Driven TV. I am excited, man. SEMA is back. SEMA's back. After the COVID hiatus, the floor is now open in Las Vegas, Nevada at the convention center. And right out of the gate, Ford has shown us something really special, the V8 powered Ford Bronco Desert Racer. So we're going to have our first look coming up. The feature opener of our week-long coverage of the 2021 SEMA show in Las Vegas is the new factory purpose-built Ford Bronco Desert Racer. Designed specifically to compete in the SCORE Baja 1000, the new Bronco DR was unveiled today at the SEMA show. A purpose-built race SUV, the Ford Bronco DR as it's called, they tell us will be the most powerful production Bronco yet with over 400 horsepower from its 5-liter Coyote V8. As this thing ain't street legal, this is essentially a slightly modified crate motor and will come mated to a beefed up version of Ford's 10-speed automatic transmission. In late 2022, the first 50 copies will be made in a partnership between Ford Performance and Multimatic for racing use only. It'll pay homage to the famed and legendary vehicle that drove Ford Bronco to its 1969 Baja 1000 victory. In fact, this prototype will be the opening volley as it's set to race in the upcoming Baja 1000 in a couple of weeks with red, white, black, and blue race livery honoring that 1969 victory. Final specifications weren't hammered out for today's reveal, but here are the basic goods that vault this thing way over the top of any regular production Bronco. A custom race suspension starts with positional selective DSSV dampers from Multimatic with 80 mm bodies and thin fluid cooling channels. Then there are the exotic billet aluminum lower control arms. With these and other major suspension and chassis mods, Ford says it has 55% more suspension travel than the Bronco Badlands at 15.8 inches. At the rear, it has 17.4 inches of travel. That's incredible. With a fully race prepared chassis, it has an astonishing approach angle of 47 degrees, a departure angle of 37 degrees, and a breakover of 33 degrees. The track is mean ass wide too at 73.7 inches. Rolling stock is comprised of beadlock style wheels wrapped with exclusive 37 inch BF Goodrich Mud Terrain TA KM3 tires. The aforementioned 10R80 10 speed automatic transmission and its electronic shift on the fly transfer case come straight from the F-150, and the Bronco DR has electronically locking front and rear differentials with a 4.7 to 1 final drive ratio. Front half shafts are upgraded to meet the extra power and suspension work, but as it happens, this rig still uses a stock Bronco brake system with exception of having upgraded pads. A fully redesigned lightweight fiberglass body wraps the production Bronco's four-door frame and body structure. Lightweighting has taken place by removing the air conditioning glass and the interior is of course stripped of the bulk of its components, though it still tips the scales at 6,200 pounds. The instrument panel is retained, however, with a few familiar items, but is otherwise outfitted entirely for racing. Built and designed to offer a turnkey racer for off-road competitors, the 2023 Bronco Desert Racer will have a starting price in the mid $200,000 range. Ford says the first 50 copies will be offered for sale late in 2022. And remember, this isn't street legal, so you won't be getting a VIN number to take to your local DMV. You won't be offered any fancy financing from Ford Credit, and there will be no extended warranties offered. This is a bill of sale only vehicle. All right, my friends, there you go for our first big news story out of the SEMA show for 2021. And I think it's a pretty big news story. V8 Bronco race truck. I think that's pretty hot. Now we're going to be on the floor all week long and all week long, we're going to be bringing features of different vehicles and concept trucks, concept vehicles. And whenever we come across something that just needs to be covered, you'll be seeing that too. So what you want to do is see our playlist right there of all of our SEMA show 2021 coverage and better yet, click right here and subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you'll be notified of everything we do. Either way, stay tuned.